YouTube, it's your boy Lou9294. Doing another video for you guys. If you didn't know, my fish was sick for a couple of days. All of them was in one corner of the aquarium, didn't know what was going on with them. Uh, they had some type of parasites or whatever. And eventually, one of them had got ick on top of his head, better known as white spot on top of the head. But I think the it came from the stress of whatever was making him sick. I'm not sure. I'm not a veterinarian or anything. I'm not a fish specialist. I'm learning things just like you guys. And whatever I learn, I try to show it to you guys and tell you guys about it. So, I watched a YouTube video a while back. And a guy was talking about Quick Cure. Can't remember the name of the guy. Uh... I know he has a lot of plant videos and he sells plants and everything. I have like so many YouTube friends. I have like almost 500 now, so I can't remember everyone's name. But he was telling me about the quick cure a long time ago and I went out and bought some. So I had already put Epsom salt in the water and I had put some aquarium salt in the water. So I had already done that from the get go to try to help out with everything. And I combined these two products, the Meliflex. I had got from Mr. Uh, Dolly VH in a contest that I won a while back and it came in handy. So all these combined together actually really really helped my fish out and they're actually doing fine and I will show you those guys in a moment. Epsom salt I'm going to show you in another part of the video that I used for something else and plus I'm going to show you this aquarium salt. But first off I'm going to get to the aquarium and I'm going to show you what happened and how the re uh, results came out alright guys so this is how the guys are looking now as you can see everybody's moving around and everything everybody's doing fine I'm happy about that man it was a nightmare up in this tank everybody was chilling in this corner right here and I thought they were gonna die because they were just sitting there gasping for air and everything Everybody's doing perfect now. Everybody's doing fine in the grow out. So, I used those products on this tank. And I hope I helped you guys out with that issue. Man, because I didn't want to lose none of these guys. Especially this guy right here. The blue guy, red guy. And my up and coming he's coming along nicely but they were pale I mean when I say pale they were all gray like they lost every bit of color this Taiwan reef right here is the Taiwan reef that I've been had in the big show tank and I bought him he was a dud man he was all colored up and stuff but they had him all juiced up and that like kinda really ticked me off but Hey man, you win some, you lose some. But he's getting color back now. It's going to be a while before he gets the color that I want him to be. Right now, he's pushing five inches. He's pushing five. And I think it's going to take a long time before color come on him. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys something. This right here is my surface skimmer that I made. I was watching... Uh, video a while back and I was like man, I want to purchase me a surface skimmer I was like man but I think I can make one myself you see all this debris at the top a lot of you guys probably don't pay attention to that but I just put this surface skimmer on here not too long ago so hopefully by tomorrow everything will be gone from up here but as you can see right here it's clear so it's working it's really working so hopefully this whole top of this aquarium will be clear. But uh, I'm watching that video and I was like, man, I probably can make my own. But I also watched DIY Joey the other day. He did a video and he just did a regular polishing uh filter. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll do the polishing filter and I'll turn it upside down and I'll do what I've been said I was going to do. And... I finally did it, man. I just used a regular old uh, A&W root beer bottle. I know it's not the prettiest, but hey, it's working. 
doing what I needed to do and doing fine for me. I just hooked it up tonight. So it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. I'm glad about that. Got some other things I want to share with you guys. And I'll be back in a few. All right, guys, this is the other part of what I wanted to show you guys. I was watching uh, Fish Tank Kings the other day on television, and the man made a cichlid aquarium. I mean, a bad cichlid aquarium with a African Malawi sausage tree. And, man, I mean, it looked it spectacular. I was like, whoa. And when it got time to put the fish in, he didn't have any buffer. So he told her to go out and get some baking soda. I was like, regular baking soda? You for real? Like, go get some baking soda. A lot of you guys probably already know this. This is new to me, and somebody else that's in the hobby may be new to them too, so I'm gonna share this with them. So, I, he put the buffer in there or whatever, man, and it, I mean, he put the baking soda in, and it worked. I was like, whoa. It brought it to 7 point, uh, 7, I mean, 8, 8.0. I was like, whoa, are you serious? So, I was like, I'm going to try it. And I put the uh, post up on Instagram and Facebook. I got a lot of responses back. People say they've been doing this for years. I was like, are you serious? But, hey, and they told me to look up a Rift Lake buffer recipe. And I looked it up, and it was there, dude. So, with that being said... This is an old bottle of buffer that I had. Actually, it has baking soda in it now. So there's no uh, Malawi Victorian buffer in there. It's just regular old baking soda. I would never buy a buffer again in my life. It's a waste of money. As you can see, I paid $8.99 compared to $0.64. Cents. Come on, man. You do the math. But anyway, with that being said, I added the uh, Epsom salt into my show tank. I added the right amount of Epsom salt up in there. I think it's like a table, I mean, a, yeah, tablespoon to every five gallons. So I did that, put it in there. I did the same thing with the aquarium salt because I didn't have any marine salt. They say use marine salt, but hey, I had aquarium salt. And I think it'll do the same amount of justice because my water already has all the proteins, the minerals and everything in there coming from where we stay because our water... I'm in Dallas, so they put all these chemicals and all that stuff in the water. So you know how they do it to make the water all good and supposed to be healthy or whatever. But it's already in there. So I combined these together, and I used my uh, baking soda. It was one teaspoon per five gallons. I did that. Man, the water is superb. I mean, my pH is on point. I can never be more happier. I've been testing it over the days, and it's right where it's supposed to be. I couldn't believe it myself, but it's right where it's supposed to be. So that was the best thing that ever happened to me that I've ever learned. Because this right here is $4 and something cents, man. Can't go wrong with that. The aquarium salt was 5 bucks, but I'm going to go get some marine salt. Not this water change, but the next water change, because I know you're not supposed to keep adding salt to your water. So I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to wait like two water changes, and then I'll put some marine salt in there. And I think i seen a big old bucket of it for like 10 bucks at the pet store, so that's what I'll be getting. So with that being said, I have one more thing I want to share with you guys. Alright, this is the second part I want to share with you guys. Our homie Jay Wills, man, he was talking about the foods that he feed his fish. I've been looking at this Ultra Red for a long time, and I had went out and bought it because I seen it online like some months back, probably like in January or February or whatever. And I was like, man, that might really do something messed up to your fish. I'm not sure. But after I seen his video and seen a couple of other people, I was like, hey, I'm going to go out and get it, and I did it. He was saying about he feeds his fish Thera A. I bought this big old container of uh, large pellets. It's the three millimeter pellets. And my fish, all my fish will eat this with no problem. Small, big, or whatever. They eat it. Dude, 
if they can't get it done right then and there, they'll get it done sooner or later. So that's what I buy for my fish because I have a lot of big fish in my show tank. And actually, this right here has everything whole in it. It's not like the cichlid formula that has bipart uh, products in it. All this is whole. It has whole uh, salmon and everything in it. Everything is whole up in here. So I think I'll continue on feeding my guys this because everything's whole. And plus, I paid 18 bucks for this big old container compared to if I go to Petco and buy a container that's half this size or a little bit smaller than this size I think they want like 17 bucks for it so can't go wrong with that dude one more thing I want to show you guys we're gonna take a scroll over here to the show tank see how all them chilling in this one corner dude like these are my kids for real they follow me they do whatever these are my children. Since I've been using the Rift Lake uh, recipe, not all of it a recipe, but from what I've concocted, the colors have been popping more up in here. They have been more active. They have been doing everything more than what they were. So that is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And thank all you guys that uh asked about me were worrying about me i'm fine and healthy and everything's going good with me thank you guys so much i love you guys as i always tell you continue on watching my videos continue on supporting continue on hitting the like button leaving comments because i read everyone's comments sometimes youtube be tripping where i can't send you the comment back but i do read everyone's comment i really really do and i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart i really do so with that being said i want to show you one more thing the video might not show as good but i came home the other day and my tanganikin was jacked up looking by the head a lot of people call him in sickness hey man i looked it up it said tanganikin so it is what it is whatever it want to be called but I want to show you guys this if I can. I think I'm going to feed him. So it's kind of hard. But I want to show you the top of his head. You see that scar? I came in the door the other day. And I guess he got spooked or whatever. I don't have no food for you guys. It's kind of hard for me to do the video like that. Cause they, but he has like this scar on top of his head. Dude, I mean like a deep, deep gash. And once I put that formula in there, the Epsom salt and the baking soda and everything, and I put my aquarium salt, man, everything has been going good with that guy. The gash has actually closed up some. I mean, it was a nice deep gash. I think he hit it on one of these rocks or whatever. As soon as I walked in the door, all I heard something go boom. So that means he hit against something. So, but he's doing fine. As I say, you guys subscribe, leave comments, do what y'all do, man. Appreciate y'all a lot. Man, he don't want to, these guys think I'm going to feed him. I'm not putting no food in this tank. You can actually see how big these babies are. These are some huge monsters now. And not the little bitty fish I had at one time. That being said, my time up. Y'all leave comments, subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.